Hello, Ohana. I'm Pastor the Mommy Lani here. Whew, I have a lot to share with you guys, okay? So bear with me. If you got some time, please take the time to watch this video all the way to the end, okay? So we're going to be diving straight into scripture, okay? So the first scripture I want to share with you guys is Proverbs chapter 15, verse 1, okay? Proverbs, okay? It is written... A soft answer turneth away wrath, okay? But grievous words stir up anger. Grievous words stir up anger. This is so true, okay? This is, of course, it's true, okay? This is the word of God. It is truth. Everything about it is truth, okay? So, a soft answer. Say, for instance, someone is coming at you pretty hot and heavy okay or there's a situation or you're now find yourself in an argument okay this is true for me because this not only had happened in the past but this is what happened to me last night okay and i'm such a bonehead because i know better but then yet i allowed i allowed satan to come in kill still and destroy my peace and my joy by getting swept away by why because i was too emotionally entangled into the situation okay and I was what taking a stand and fighting for myself instead of letting the Lord take control instead of letting the Lord do his will no Mary over here was working her will my channel is all about realness okay so I'm not gonna hide nothing from you from you guys and I'm gonna share with you guys what I get going on personally because I want to share growth okay and we're not gonna know where the growth came from if we don't know where we've been how we're we gonna know what our progress was if we we know can reflect on a healthy perspective meaning we're going to reflect with the word of god okay not by just reflect reflecting and complaining okay no we're going to reflect with the word of god so this is what the lord has given me to share with you guys okay and he's so on point okay because a soft it is written a soft answer turneth away wrath okay so you find yourself in an argument or in a hostile situation okay know this number one the Lord is the one who fights for you. Amen. And we have to be mindful of what we say. And I've said this before. We have to be mindful of what we say. And like I said, we make mistakes. But the point is not to continuously keep making the mistakes. But know that each time when you make a mistake, there is something to learn from that situation and what's going on. You see? So the Lord is with you. And he's going to help you. But we have to remember that he's the one who fights for us. We have to remember that he's the one that we need to turn to. Yeah, he the one that we're going to be seeking counsel from. Amen. So when I read my Bible, this is what the Lord will give me. Okay. He has given me this word to share with you. Okay. It is written, a soft answer turneth away wrath, but grievous words stir up anger. Okay. So like I said, I was emotionally entangled with the situation of what was going on. Okay. So I was looking, I was viewing the whole situation, I seen everything, okay, the Holy Spirit discerning everything of all of this that is going on right now is all nonsense and it needs to stop. But instead of me just going straight into prayer like I should have, what I did, I opened my big mouth. I opened my big mouth and I was pointing out things to him which is my fiance, okay? I was pointing things out to him and that was not helping the situation, okay? That's not going to help the situation by pointing things out and I even said that myself and the Lord is like, okay, well, what are you doing? You're pointing things out to him when you should come to me and seek counsel from me. When you should pray about the situation because do know that I'm the one who fights for you, amen? Praise God, he is the one. And I'm going to tell you guys right now, the Lord corrects those he loves, Okay? The Lord corrects those he loves. So, when the Lord corrects you, take that and be like, Okay, Lord, I'm sorry. I want to be better. I want to do better. And yes, Lord, I know I know better. And I never do what I knew I should have done. And forgive me, right? So, we ask for forgiveness. We move forward. And we make everything porno. And how we make everything porno? Through God's grace, through God's love, through the word of God, he will... He will help you. So seek first the kingdom of God and everything else will come together. So guess what? Everything is all cherry right now, right? Okay, everything is all good right now. So it's not like we woke up, rolled out of bed and boom, we're acting like nothing would happen. No, I went straight to him and I said, you know what? I said, everything that went go on last night was pretty chaotic and crazy. And I went apologize to him and I told him sorry. 
and I was talking to him and telling him like you know what God loves you I just I, I let you know that God loves you okay he loves us both he loves us all so much okay and he only wants the best for us yeah and I don't like us be I don't want us to be unequally yoked you know what I'm saying like because my partner he leaned too much on me and I lean on God and sometimes it's like you know I want to push him off of me like I just want to push him off like hey I lean in on God I am not your source of strength okay because the Lord is my source of strength and I cannot lean on you so I leaning on the Lord and I need you to lean on the Lord as well not only just I lean on the Lord and then you draining all my energy no 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 you need to lean on the Lord because if you cannot go to the Lord and you don't want to use the Lord as your source of strength and you you confiding in me and I'm just the one that you will be leaning on all the time this that's going to break the relationship there's there's not going to be a, a, a what do you call a successful healthy relationship so I brought that to his attention. And I'm being real with you guys, okay? Because guess what? Nothing is hidden from the Lord. And I made my channel specifically for healing for myself and to help others to heal. Because the Lord said, whatever I give to you, my child, whatever I give to you, that's from the overflow. So you share from the overflow. And whatever you're sharing is what I have given you. Amen. Praise God. Okay? So God bless you and your ohana. If you have ears... Lord, please, I pray that they can hear. And Lord, whoever is maybe watching, Lord, may they have eyes to see and to discern truth. Amen. Okay. So, <clears throat> now I'm going to read um, Proverbs chapter 3, verse 12, okay? Proverbs chapter 3, verse 12. Do know, guys, um, none of us is perfect, okay? In order for truly get healing, we have to, what? Be real with ourselves, right? We have to acknowledge where we went wrong and we seek counsel from the Lord and the Lord can help us and get through everything, okay? And that's why a lot of marriages fail because they lean too much on their understanding and they go to, like, um, therapy. Some go to therapy and some help. Some therapy helps them, but honestly, if you're going to go straight to God's Word, He's going to not only help you, He will heal what you get going on personally as an individual and as a couple as one you feel me so the word of god is truly the true counsel that we should be seeking not only as just a as a couple but as an individual because not everybody is married there's single people out there right who holding out praise god holding out for the one truly yeah amen praise god okay <clears throat> so we're gonna read proverbs chapter oh i feel like i'm yelling i'm sorry proverbs chapter three <laughs> verse 12 okay so it is written for whom the lord loveth he corrects correcteth sorry for saying that wrong even as a father the son in whom he delighteth okay okay for whom the lord loveth for whom the lord loves he corrects okay even as a father the son whom he delights in okay so the lord will correct you Okay, when you're seeking counsel from the Lord, He will correct you where you went wrong. Okay, the Lord doesn't condemn you. Okay, the Lord doesn't. Jesus Christ never bore our sins on the cross, died on the cross, and has risen for condemn you. No, He did all of that so that we could be saved. But we the one that need to go to him and seek him, amen. We the one gotta have the willing heart, yeah, being ready and willing. We're not perfect. He never said for be perfect, for come to me. No, the Lord comes to you as you are. He said, Come as you are. Amen. And as you are, not meaning you gotta have this fancy suit so you can go in church and go actually have one so you can have one seat. No. Come in come as you are. You know, gotta have riches, you know, gotta be um, what you call it successful like this world tells you to be successful the Lord's version of success okay the Lord's version of success is all rooted and grounded in Jesus Christ's love and everything that he has done because success is our salvation in Christ knowing who Jesus Christ is and what he has done for us amen praise God God is good God make the way okay Jesus Christ is the way he is our anchor to our soul. He is our Lord and our Savior. He is the one who has done it all for us. So when we're first seeking the kingdom of God, everything else can come together. Amen. Praise God. 
So know that when you make mistakes, okay, you can take this mistake you made, you take it to the Lord, you ask the Lord, Lord, help me with this and forgive me, Lord, for continuously doing this. Help me, Lord, deliver me from this. Help me, Lord, to know that you're the one who stand and fight for me. Yes, Lord. I pray, Lord, the next time when I face this situation, if I ever have to face it again or it arises again, and it probably will, right? It probably will rise again. Lord, I pray that I have the strength to humble myself before you and get on my knees and lift it up to you. Amen? Praise God. Praise God. Okay, so now <clears throat> let's go over to James. James chapter 1 verse 2. Okay. My brethren. Oh, I'm sorry. Forgive me. It is written. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations. Knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. Okay. The trying of your faith worketh patience. So last night the Lord was working patience in me, but I was losing it. I'm not going to lie. I was losing my cool, okay? Because this is something that I've been going through for a long time. And I was losing my cool. And Lord, I tell you. Because I opened my big mouth, okay? Because of what I was saying. Because of what I was not doing, yeah? When I should have went in prayer. No, I wouldn't tell him. Tell him. Oh, this, that, blah, blah, blah. Nonsense, okay? So, instead of counteracting the nonsense that was happening in the atmosphere, I went in and joined the nonsense. You see what I'm saying? So, when we go straight into prayer, re-testifying and declaring, Lord, you are the one who fight for me. Lord, you are the one who takes the stand for me. Lord, help me in this season for whatever reason, Lord, this is happening, Lord, please help me. Help me, Lord. <laughs> Lift it up to the Lord, trust me. Okay? Trust me. It takes patience to work out certain things, okay, guys? So, the Lord know, want, wants you to know that knowing this, it is written, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience, okay? Okay, I'm going to continue. So, we're still on James chapter 1. Now, we're going to read verse 4. It is written, But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. The problem, okay, my problem last night was, the situation was, is that I could discern and see everything that was happening around me that was no good and I was fed up with it and I was tired of it. So I, I went acting in a childish and foolish way by saying how I felt when I knew I should have said what I felt, not to the person, but I should have said and told the Lord how I was feeling and asked him to, to step in for me, asked him to stand and fight for me. But guess what? God is so good. Even though I wouldn't act the way that I did and did what I did, that right then, those times in trying situations when we act out a fool, know that the lord love you and when he correct you and when you can humbly receive that correction and be like praise god and thank you lord for that obstacle thank you lord for that that situation lord thank you for this season lord thank you for pulling me up out of the valley because guess what he just went prepare you to a next level step meaning he just went teach you something so now when the next time this thing try come around boom you you tooted and booted you good why? Because you can seek counsel from the Lord. You can go straight to Him with Him. Because you can recognize, oh, oh, I know what happened last time. Oh, I, okay, I know what this is all about. Boom, straight into prayer. Lord, fight for me. Lord, no weapon shall form a prosper in the physical or the spiritual against me, my loved ones, all my household in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise God. Okay? Okay. There's always something to learn from the mistakes that we make. Okay, guys? Okay? God is good. He loves you, okay? He loves you. So we're going to continue. <clears throat> we're still on James chapter 1. Now we're going to go on verse 5. It is written, If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, that give it to all men liberally and unbraideth. Braidendeth. Forgive me if I'm butchering that word. Un upbraideth not and it shall be given him 
okay so if any of you are lacking wisdom okay it says if any of you are lacking wisdom let him ask god meaning take your concerns and cares to god and you ask god lord help me lord i do not understand help me lord for i do not know what to do i don't know what is going on you take whatever it is your concern you take them straight to the lord amen praise god okay that ye may be wait no forgive me forgive me forgive me sorry that giveth to all men liberally and unbraided it not and it shall be given him meaning the lord will answer you okay but okay we're going to continue james first verse six now it is written but let him ask in faith okay we're not just like we asking one question we're just asking no we're going to ask with faith meaning we are going to ask with the expectation of the lord got our answer he is our answer okay but do know it's not our timing, it's the Lord's timing. It's divine timing. Amen. And remember now, know that you may not receive the answer that you want to hear. Okay? You may not receive the answer that you want to hear. So when we're going to ask in faith is meaning that we're seeking to know what the Lord has to say. Okay? And if he doesn't answer you right away, it may be because he wants you to go read. Go read the word of God. Seek all the answers of everything that anybody can go through in life. The answer is right in the Bible. The answer is right in the word of God. And the answer is Jesus Christ all the way to the T. No matter what get going on, the answer is always going to be Jesus Christ. The answer is always going to be love. The answer is always going to be grace. The answer is always going to be humble yourself before the Lord. Praise God. God is good. God is working in our lives, guys, okay? Don't be hard on yourself. Don't give the enemy, meaning Satan, okay? Because we're not up against flesh and blood. Okay? It's a spiritual welfare going on. So we cannot give Satan okay, or his minions thinking that he got us defeated. Okay, Even though we're making mistakes. See, when you make a mistake, Satan over there, ha, 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 got you. Ha, 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 you screwed up. Ha, 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 now you have forsaken the Lord. Ha, ha, ha. No, you tell and rebuke every ha, ha, ha from Satan in the mighty name of Jesus. And you, the devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. God loves you. He knows your heart. Yes, you will make mistakes, but the Lord loves you and he will correct you. You will find his correction in the word of God. You will find his correction in Jesus Christ. You will find his correction in your prayers. Talk to the Lord. Amen. Elevate your ears to the word of God. Praise God. I'm telling you guys right now, okay? Telling you guys right now, God is good. God is good. Jesus Christ, He makes the way. Okay, guys, He makes the way. All right. Okay. So what did I just read? Oh, okay. So we're still on James one. Okay. Now we're gonna read verse six. It is written, but let He already oh, read that. Hello, Mary. Forgive me, guys. Wait, did I read that? Oh, I'm gonna read it one more time because then I noticed I wanna come the fool all the way i never read the whole thing forgive me james chapter 1 verse 6 it is written but let him ask in faith nothing wavering for he that wavers is like a wave of of the sea driven with the wind and tossed okay we don't want to be tossed around we don't want to be tossed around and last night i felt like i was being tossed all over the place and that was my own fault yeah that was my own fault because I was too emotionally involved and I took a stand, meaning physically my flesh, I took a stand and I was all up in the mix, getting carried away, okay, getting carried away, saying things that I know I shouldn't have been saying, but I went, I just was like, Ugh, letting them go. Oh, thank you, Jesus. The devil is a liar. God is good, okay? God is good. Pray, guys, pray. Go straight into prayer, okay? Amen. Okay, we do not want to be tossed around, okay? And then we're going to continue, James 1 verse 7 now. It is written, For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. 
A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Okay. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. All his ways. All his ways. Okay. Double-minded. Okay. So we cannot let. Don't let. Don't let Satan come in and kill, steal, and destroy your peace and your joy, okay? And do know that the Lord loves you, okay? Yes, we're going to make mistakes, but guess what? The Lord loves you, and He corrects those that He loves. So take His correction and push forward and keep moving forward. Don't let what you did or what you said stop you and hinder you from carrying on with the Lord. Because the Lord loves you and He got you okay jesus christ already has done it all for us he wants us to persevere and he wants us most importantly to know that he loves us okay and then he wants us to love one another but it's hard to love one another when we failing to love ourselves and we failing to see the fact that god loves us then what we do we turn bitter then what do we do? We take it out on others. Then what do we do? We run in far, far, far away from what the Lord has created us to be. Amen. So it's the willingness, the willingness to receive all what the Lord has blessed you with. Okay. The Lord searches our heart. Number one, the Lord loves you. Jesus Christ has already done it all. So what we're going to do, we're going to be steadfast, rooted, and grounded in Jesus Christ's love. Amen. For he is our foundation. Praise God. Okay, praise God. So we don't want to be double-minded, okay? We don't want to be double-minded because double-minded man is unstable in all his ways, okay? Trust, okay? All right. And where it says, For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. Meaning, don't think that you're going, you're going to get everything you want, okay? Because you went ask the Lord. You need to be putting in the work. And the Lord going to give you according to his will and plan for your life, Amen amen before he can give you certain things you got to get certain things you got to he got to prepare you for them right he he aligning you for what all of what your heart desires okay because the lord is the one who provide for you he is your provider amen he is the one who worked in it all out for you in you and through you amen praise god okay so that was that oh did i read proverbs 3 and then we're gonna go back to proverbs Oh, I took out my thing. Forgive me. I hope you guys are having a beautiful, beautiful day. Today is a very beautiful day. It's nice and sunny. Nice and clear blue sky. God is good. God bless you and your ohana. Um, and also, guys, feel free to um, share your testimonies with me. Yeah, guys, in the comments. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and subscribe. Also, share the word of God with your brothers and sisters. When people you see out there, just share. Go evangelize. Yeah, go share the word of God. Amen. Okay, we work in the Lord's will. Praise God. Okay, here we go. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 through 6. Okay. 3. Okay, make sure on the right one. All right, here we go. It is written, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. And lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path. Amen. Praise God. Okay. Praise God. Praise God. God is good. He shall direct your path. In all your ways he shall direct your path. <sighs> okay. Alright guys. We're going to end this one with prayer. Okay. Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you so much, Lord, for this beautiful message, Lord. We thank the Holy Spirit for leading us and guiding us through. We thank you, Jesus, for being our Lord and our Savior. Lord, we thank you for all that you do for us, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for humbling our hearts, Lord, for teaching us, Lord. And we thank you for your correction, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. God bless all the viewers and subscribers and all those that are hearing the sound of my voice, Lord. Bless them up and down, Lord. Keep them safe, Lord. Yes, Lord, for you are our shield and our buckler. Lord, yes, you are faithful, and we thank you. Yes, Lord, you are worthy to be praised, and all the glory, all the glory and the praises is unto you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We know, Lord, that everything that you give us, Lord, that we share, we know that it is from you, Lord. We thank you, Jesus, for the overflow, Lord, that we are able to share. We thank you, Lord, for taking the lampshade off of us, Lord, that we can shine our light, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord, we bless your name, Jesus. And in your holy name, Jesus, I pray. Amen. 
God bless you and your ohana. You guys go ahead and have a beautiful, blessed day. Amen. And seek first the kingdom of God and everything else will be added to you. Aloha.